presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to send two different audio sources to two different places with the same computer using Pro Presenter 7. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. With Pro Presenter 7.2 and later, they added the ability to bring in audio sources from basically anywhere you could imagine, including, uh, if you're using an X32, by the way, up to 32 channels from an X32 directly into ProPresenter. So that might make you wonder, well, what if I wanted to send different audio to two different places, like maybe my in-person uh, audience and my live stream, or maybe I wanted to uh, send it to my in-person audience in the sanctuary and then a different audio output to um, my TVs in the lobby, for example, that are always playing announcement loops, but it's all on the same computer. How could you do that? Well, let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. So, the, uh, the way that you would go about accomplishing this is well, it depends on what you want to do. We've already talked in our previous uh, lesson, and I'll leave a, a link below, about sending it to your live stream within ProPresenter. But what if you're sending it out NDI, Network Digital Interface? Um, how would you send that audio out of ProPresenter um, while sending different audio out of... Uh, Pro presenter to a soundboard. Well, let me show you what you would do. Uh, first off, we're going to go into Pro presenter and then Preferences. And the very first thing, I've already done this, but uh, we're going to click on Audio here. And we need at least four channels of audio. Um, so, add those four channels in here. And now, the main output, that's going to be important here in just a second. And the SDI and NDI output, that's also going to be important here in just a second. So, the first question you might think is, well, if I'm going to send audio out of my SDI and NDI output to uh, my live streaming uh Let's say I've got, um, I'm just sending that to Ecamm Live, for example, and I want to send the audio with NDI. How would I do that? Well, you would make sure that you enabled this, but the audio from Worship needs to come into ProPresenter. So let's uh, click on Input, and you would add an audio source right here, and... Um, I've already done that. In fact, you can see the levels bouncing for my audio. I'm using a Griffin iMic, uh, but this could be an X32. This could be uh, a Focusrite 2i2. It could be a number of different audio sources. Uh, if you had everything set up correctly, it could be even the mic jack of uh, your computer. It's probably going to need to be uh, attenuated before it does, but that's a totally different lesson on the audio. So, you need to bring it in. So, you would click the plus button here um, and then choose your audio source and then go from there. Um, one thing that you might not know is that SDI itself, if you're capturing SDI with like a, a, a DeckLink Duo card, a DeckLink Duo 2 card, um, or a quad 2 card, then it can have 16 channels of audio right there. So, that's something else to keep in mind. But let's concentrate on my iMic here. Now, you'll notice that I've got a little bit of a problem in that audio is only coming in on one channel. So, how do I get that over to the second channel? Well, in routing, what I did was... The default is this one and this one. 
Um, so this is the iMic coming in only has two channels it can come in on. It's a stereo device, so left and right. But just because the uh, other sources have a number of channels, we're just going to call them one and two. Now ProPresenter itself, remember we added four channels earlier, so it has these four. So since there's nothing coming in on channel two, I'm going to disable that. And I have channel one from the iMic going to ProPresenter channel one and two. Okay? So that's how I have that coming in. Now, I go back to audio up here, and I need to decide what goes where. Oh, real quick, I almost forgot on input. I have put this as auto off, and the reason for that is if I play a foreground video, it will automatically mute this coming in. So when I'm sending audio out of ProPresenter, audio out of ProPresenter, it doesn't come back into ProPresenter. Um, so there you go. That's just one little way to avoid looping. Now back into the audio here. This second option here, main, you need to decide what that output is. Let's say that uh, for me, it could have just as easily been my iMic, but in, instead I'm sending it out via HDMI to my uh, Blackmagic uh, Television Studio HD. So that's why I have selected that here. Now we need to go into routing, and remember how I put um, the iMic into ProPresenter channels 1 and 2? Well... I need to send that out to this particular device, and it only has two output channels. So I'm sending ProPresenter channel 1 to the Blackmagic channel 1. Now I'm sending ProPresenter channel 2 to Blackmagic channel 2. So see how these connect like that, and this connects like this. So that's how I'm sending that out of channel 1 and 2. What if I do not want that to go out of the SDI output or the NDI output? So right now it's set to go out like that, but maybe I don't want it out like that. I can just disable those two. Let's say instead I wanted um, ProPresenter channel 1 and 2 to go into... Uh, my NDI channel 3 and 4. I could. And since SDI is capable of up to 16 channels, and this is both SDI and NDI, I could continue duplicating that, or I could send stuff from channel 4, or what have you. Just whatever I need to do here in... Uh, presenter. So, that's good, but what if I wanted to send audio from my audio playlist down here? Here, let me actually make that go away. So, from down here, I wanted to send this audio to uh, NDI and SDI, but not audio, uh, but not to my main output. Well, remember the routing I have is 1 and 2 going out of this. So I can send audio on 3 and 4, and this main output won't get it. But the SDI output would. So that might be good. Um, that might be good if you were sending audio over SDI to televisions in your lobby, for example. So I could, again, set this to 3 and 4. 
actually, I would do uh, ProPresenter channel 3 and 4 to uh, output channel 1 and 2 of uh, the SDI device. And then if I had an SDI to HDMI converter, I could just plug that into a regular TV that had HDMI, a regular high definition television, not a standard definition television. So I could just do that and then it would get audio nice and simple. Um, but remember that this was Pro Channel 3 and 4. So what I need to do is I need to assign the channels down here. So right click and um, I'm going to go to Inspector. And so for uh, audio in the Inspector, right now it's set to audio channel 1 and 2. But let's instead change that to 3 and 4. And once I did that, I could play that particular song, and it would go out of uh, Proper Center channels 3 and 4 uh, into, so this song is a stereo song, it's got two channels, it goes into the Proper Center uh, matrix here, and then goes out of channel 3 and 4 into SDI uh, video. So in that way I could be playing something out of uh, 1 and 2 in ProPresenter and the audio um, from the audio bin would go out the SDI slash NDI alone versus um, having that go out the main output of ProPresenter. So I really have a lot of flexibility here when it comes to doing this in ProPresenter 7. So I hope that that's a help to you. I hope that now you start to think, wait, if on my computer I could send the audio playlist playing in iTunes or uh, some other audio source out of one audio device out of my computer and then send the ProPresenter output something else. So you have a lot of flexibility there. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my Pro 7 Quick Start course. So just head over to tdm.fyi slash Pro 7 Quick and you can get it for free. Normally it's $29. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.